<laughs> I've hardly slept. I've hardly slept because I've been so excited. I can't believe I'm going to download today. Lovely day for it, isn't it? You know what? I was just thinking, what I'm most concerned about is that Sophie's got to deal with me for three whole days. <laughs> Sorry, hun. We were Black and Download Festival! We're here, we finally made it. We did our COVID test. COVID test done. We are free of the COVID. Um, we're here at Download Festival and it's actually amazing to be here, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's great. It feels normal, but it's not. It's, yeah. It's so, it's so weird, but I was really overwhelmed. Just overwhelmed walking in. It's chucking it down. I'm drenched. I might have trench foot, but I'm just over the moon, to be quite honest. So good to see people. We're going to go and do some interviews. We're going to bring you all sorts of stuff from the weekend. Watch this space. Download means to us. Uh, it's a church place. It's a spiritual place for rock music. It's where people come to feel community, feel connection, and feel the love of a music that has completely defined their lives. And without a place like this, it's a it's a rebellion against society. And like-minded people are all here, and we love every single one of you. So uh, once that, that data's gone in, the government's got that, then th it, they'll be able to make a, a, a very clear and comprehensive decision on what's going to happen with the festivals for the rest of the summer. And there's a lot of festivals to come of all different genres of music. I'm hopeful that when we get through this and come July 19, because we know things got pushed for a month, the government will be able to say, pool is open. Yes. Everybody, you know, everything's going to be fine. I'm sure there's going to be certain restrictions. People may still have to do lateral flow tests. It's very, very easy. Ev everybody here will tell you just how simple that is. And I'm saying that for people who haven't had to do it. Don't be fearful of it. It's very, very easy, very simple. And if the, if those restrictions are there, that's not going to stop people go, going to events. So hopefully all of those festivals that I mentioned and all the ones that I didn't can go ahead and with, with without without too many restrictions. If you can't be a download festival this year, don't worry, we are taking you and bringing you here with us. It's, to be honest, it doesn't feel that different, does it, it to you? No, not at all. It's mad because there's only 10,000 people and I spoke to someone earlier and they said the max capacity is 210,000 people. So it's yeah. like, what, a fraction? But it still feels so downloading. Yeah, you'd expect it to feel empty, but, but it, it doesn't, doesn't at all. Yeah. And I, I feel like with festivals, I think the enjoyment comes from embracing everything, you know, and like meeting strangers and listening to bands you've never heard of and standing in the rain and, and enjoying every moment of it. Fuck it, download. <laughs> so being at download this year feels like everything we've kind of wanted for the last two years, pretty much. Like, I think, I feel like I can speak for everyone in the band when I say, like, all we've wanted to do is be active and playing shows. Because, like, right before this all kicked in, we were literally gearing up. For, we were doing, like, promo for the record that just came out. Like, we were ready to do the biggest tours we've ever done. And then that got stopped dead in its tracks, and so yeah, that itch to play a show has has uh, gotten yeah a lot more intense over the last like eighteen months or whatever. So um, <laughs> definitely woke up this morning and was just like, oh my god, we're playing a show. Like I'm not I'm not used to even thinking about that. Do you know what I mean? Like previously, well, past at least like five or six years, shows have been so normal. It's more of a case of like you don't even know when your stage time is and then someone comes in it's like oh you're on in 10 minutes like all right but yeah i woke up today and was like oh my god i'm definitely playing like a a big show and b the first show in two years can i still play drums can i remember you know <laughs> everything that i thought i was really good at it's that like, it's quite a lot but it's gonna be it's gonna be sick like i'm just excited to actually see a load of humans and like <laughs> yeah just do normal things again yeah yeah It's day two, we're in the cab, we're off to site. Who are you looking forward to seeing? Orgasm 
and while she sleeps. Oh, yeah? and she's carrying, she's so yeah. sick. I'm Matt. I'm Loz, we're from While She Sleeps. And you're watching Rock Scene Presents. I want to know what is the weirdest thing that you've seen at a festival? Easy. The weirdest thing I've seen at a festival, other than myself, is uh, we were watching Sick of It All one year. Was it in Europe? Uh, I think so. And yeah. someone was pissing into another guy's mouth in the center of a circle oh, pit. What, in the middle? I see, in the middle? <laughs> yeah. The pit. going on and it was happening. And, and we're, we're like, all just like oh. we're like, in the yard. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. gnarly as fuck. But yeah, respect. I mean, top that. <laughs> Rest of rock scene presents Try viewers and it. interviewers. <laughs> Oh my god, the sun's out, Alex. Don't say anything. He thinks it, but I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's Download Festival, and the sun is out right now. We're laying in the grass, some bands are playing. It's like heaven, isn't it? This is, yeah, if you were black in heaven. Weirdest thing would probably, oh, I don't know if this is weird. This is definitely weird, but it's probably more disgusting. Um, 2002, I think, Reading Festival, main stage. Uh, I've got a feeling other bands <laughs> may have mentioned this story because it's pretty a seminal thing. Um, Dillinger Escape Plan, uh, Greg the singer shat in a, I think a plastic bag, if my memory serves me right, Lovely. on stage and then threw it out into the audience. Was it tied um, up or was it? Was, it I think it was tied up, but uh, the audience then threw it back and it. I think by that point it, it was... Uh, Leaking. Oh, lovely. Um, not, not a hard consistency, obviously. Yeah, not yet. no, I don't, I'm not sure what he should look at his diet, maybe, but um, yeah. Fibre. Yeah. So it feels super, super safe to be on site. You need to do a test before you enter, you get a wristband, and that is scanned every single day. As you can see, there's loads of medics everywhere. Playing download was <laughs> sweaty, tiring, soul fulfilling, yeah. amazing, bucket list, off. Crossing. Terrifying, inspiring. It was everything. It's an absolute wash, wash of feelings. It's, it's fucking download festival as well. You can't get much I, better. This is this is home for us. This is 100% home for people like us. You know exactly what I mean. So who are you looking forward to seeing at Download Festival? Uh, I'm really looking forward to Load tomorrow. Absolutely, Load on the main yeah. stage. It's going to be amazing. Main. Hey, what's up? This is Sophie K here at Download Festival with Alex. We are here for We Wear Black and things are going really well so far, aren't they? Really well, really well. It's like a Christmas miracle. We just heard A playing. We could hear them playing nothing. Awesome. Bleed from within are just here doing an interview. They were phenomenal as always. Um, and Enshikari are still to play. So looking forward to them. I can't wait, cannot wait for them. And the sun came out. Don't what? say anything, don't say anything. Still still cold. It is a Christmas mi mi <laughs> miracle. Miracle. Mir Christmas miracle. Christmas miracle. <laughs> so what I want to know is, what is the weirdest thing you've seen at a festival? Well, I don't really think it's maybe the weirdest thing, uh, but uh, one of the most unexpected things was a year we played here where uh, Baby Metal played and their backing band were Dragon Force. Uh, yeah. So like Dragon Force are obviously really awesome. My, my friend actually from LA has been playing with Dragon Force recently, uh, a girl called Alicia who plays in a band called Vigil of War. Oh, awesome. And they're fucking great, they're really, really awesome. cool. Uh, but uh, they played this year with, um, with Baby Metal and it was the, the mashup of styles, uh, like, the one you didn't know you, you wanted but you absolutely loved when you saw. But you needed in your life from Ex then on. Exactly. Yeah. Who are you looking forward to seeing at Download Festival? Enter Shikara. Of course. Yo, uh, Skin Dread. There's so much love for Skin Dread. So much yeah. love for Skin Dread. Yeah. I love it. They're so good. They get the, the crowd going as well. Like, yeah. It's so good. Day three at Download Festival. Everyone is still absolutely buzzing. Ready to see my band today. Let's go. Down fucking low. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Matt from Bullet of My Valentine here with a message to our fans. Uh, we want to thank you very much for your continued support over the last 15, 16, 17 years, wherever it's been. Uh, from, from myself to you, really hope that um, COVID and lockdown hasn't been too much of a stressful thing. 
we understand how important music is to people uh, during this time more than ever. Um, so just, you know, hope you guys are doing okay and uh, yeah, all the best. I think one of the best things for punters this year has been the fact that the campsite, like that's the main stage just over there, and then the campsite is just over there, so it means no massive trek. There's been a lot of love for that. Uh, every, we're going to find out that music is actually just a huge um, community um, and working together, you know, and we need you as much as you need the music, so it's going to, it's going to make things a bit more humble, I, I hope, you know. Agree, mm. hear, hear. Behind us right now, Wild Hearts are playing, still to come, there's going to be Frank Turner, Skin Dread are going to be doing the Newport helicopter, that's going to be sick, and Bullet for my Valentine! <laughs> Screw Corbin! Long live Denwood! Long live Denwood! The message to fans is keep hope, things will be fine again. Yo, people, my name's Benji. This is Mike Demas from Skindred. And together we play in a band called Skindred. I just want people to know, you know, this has been a hard 18 months and we're very thankful to be playing again. Um, mentally, I've been beat up. I'll be honest with you, I've been beat up. But sometimes when you write words about positivity, Sometimes you've got to listen to them yourself. So if I've, I've had to dig deep into the catalogue of Skin Dread to encourage myself that, that we will get through this. We will, together we will get through this, you know? And um, I've just been so blessed to know that we are all still here. We've lost some soldiers along the way and we're going to say a prayer for them every day. But honest to God, I'm just thankful to be with my brothers in Skin Dread moving forward. Jumbo! Everyone, get your jabs, be safe so we can go back to this as normality. Use your hands, Santa!